Hello, my name is Yelita Brilliant and today I wanted to talk how to pass your uh, board's exams. This can be applied really to aesthetician, barber, massage therapist. I have massage therapist and uh, aestheticians. Um, I have passed those both exams. I have a aesthetician's license in Vermont. Currently they don't issue massage therapist licenses, but I did take Amlex exam. And, um, Aestheticians uh, theory and massage therapy theory, they're kind of like similar, both exams, but really take them as long as you're out of school for barbers, the same thing. Now, the hands-on part for aestheticians and barbers is make sure you go over it many times, have all your supplies, everything uh, clean, stocked up, ready to go, labeled as the, your state law requires, meet up with your classmates, friends that you studied with, practice, go over, that's what we did with our classmates. If you did well on tests, in the school you are going to pass the theory exam. If you haven't, then you need to go review all that material and do practice tests. And also there's some logical thinking in it too. If you know sanitation, if you know um, physiology, like skin physiology for estheticians or muscles for massage therapists, you know, barbers, um, I haven't taken that one, but I would, you know, assume there's same like hair and, you know, physiology and skin maybe too and all that stuff you know so make sure you know that very well as well you know all the chapters that you had in the class maybe it's microbiology chemistry you know electricity that stuff that you studied make sure you go over that make sure you know uh, most common you know, products that are used for skin cares, uh, for situations. So it's really, there's nothing to be afraid. And you know, worst case scenario, you can always take it again. But for me, hands-on exam was almost like more scary than the written one. Because I've done the practice tests, I, there's also apps so you can get to do those practice tests. And school, I'm sure, is going to have a book that you can do those tests. Um, so the hands-on part is really what kind of like, because it's like in person and you know, but make sure you don't forget your lab coat, very important because you're not going to be able to take the exam, at least in my state. Uh, make sure you have your IT, you know, that silly thing to forget and they're not going to let you in or have to wait another couple months or a month, depending where you're at. And nails, you know, have... You can't have nails now I'm in quarantine, so. But, you know, as a professional, make sure that stuff is taken care of. Make sure your disinfection is on point, sanitizing hands, doing the, your uh, hands-on exam uh, in the aesthetics, and you're gonna pass, you know? That is uh, the worst case scenario. Like I say, you can take it again, but make sure you have your labelers trash everything don't double tip nothing you gotta keep that in mind wear gloves where it's necessary that's a very important point and if you have any questions about the aesthetics or any exam you want to take let me know in the comments down below but really guys there's nothing to be afraid you can do it i passed it and you can pass it too and yeah, and I'm not like super genius, so um, you can totally do it if, and just do it as long as you get out of school. Don't wait. That's my biggest tip. And have everything labeled. Go over it several times and keep, you know, in your hands-on section. I know it sucks to unpack and pack everything, but you got to do it at least five times and then you got to keep practicing those tests when so you feel comfortable okay I got that answer I got the answer you're good to go to take your written exam you don't have to know all answers you know you know 90% if you only know 70 I wouldn't go risk wait until you answer at least 80 I would say to 90 of those questionnaires and you'll be good to go have a brilliant day
Bye! Please subscribe if you like this video, give thumbs up, and I'll see you next video. Bye!